Hey guys, Melissa here, and I made some earrings to match the pendant that I made a few weeks ago. Some moonstone earrings. So if you want to see how I made these earrings, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alright, so let's get started. I want to make a pair of earrings match the sky but I don't have any round moonstones so I, I happen to have two oval ones. These are nine by sevens which would fit nicely in these washers which are in my kit here. These 16 millimeters on the outside and 12 millimeters diameter hole on the inside. Yeah, so my nine by sevens fit nicely inside my washers. I have those. I grabbed a couple jump rings Ear wires I'll make at the end. I'd like to torch a little ball at the end, so I'll do that later. First off, I want to hammer out my washers. I have links down in my description of all the tools I'm using today. So if you want to check that out, it's all below. All right, move that aside. My stones are oval, so it might be a little more difficult to get them straight. So for these two, I'm going to use 20 gauge. I'm going to cut two six inch lengths for each one. Let me pull these out straight. These are nylon jaw pliers. They're helpful to straighten wire when you need it. Okay, I've got two sets of 20 gauge. I think I'll weave a little bale for these two, just like I did for this one. For that, I'm going to grab my 30 gauge. So for the pendant, I used 18 gauge wire and 28 gauge weaving wire. These I'm using 20 gauge and 30 gauge. It's pretty tiny. And I don't want to make too big of a bagel. I think this guy was about an inch. And for these, since they're earrings, I think I'm gonna weave about a half inch. So your middle is three inches. Start a quarter inch over to the side. I'm gonna anchor my weaving wire here. I'm gonna use my little cushion clamp here. The links to these are down in the description as well. They're very handy. And the weave I'm gonna do, I believe is a modified sumac. See, see how I'm on the one side, I'm going to go across to the other side. So I'll call this wire the top and this one the bottom. So I'm going to go across and go around the top wire once. I'm going to go around the back and up and go around the bottom wire once. I'm going to come back up, go across both of them. Go around the top wire once, go along the back, across both of them, and go around the bottom wire once. And just keep repeating. Over the top, round once. Behind the back, around once. I use a guitar pick to smoosh my weave down. Go across the top. around that upper wire, behind the back, and around that lower wire, around the top wire, behind the back, and around the lower wire. Across the top, oops, hit my phone. Across the top, around the top wire, behind the back, Around the lower wire, across the top. Around the top wire, behind the back. Around that lower wire. Make sure to compress. Keep doing this weave until I get it half an inch.
What I like about this weave, same on the back as it is on the front. Press that down and it should be, yeah, just about a half an inch when I can press it down. So I'm gonna just anchor this wire and snip it. All right, make sure, kind of straighten everybody out here. Make sure we are still centered and we are. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. Got both my weaves done. Go ahead and make a bail, so to speak. But go ahead and get your bales. No, in this guy I kept two together and separated two. So I'll go ahead and do that. Separate one side and bring the other side through. Make sure your wires stay straight. Mine are starting to twist. Just make sure your wires stay straight. Your bale stays nice and curves in a nice shape. Make sure they both have the same shape. Okay, so let's start trapping our stone here. The two wires that are together, I go through the hole, and those are gonna brace the back, and these separated wires. Looks like I'm gonna do it a little differently than I did my pendant. Let's change things up a bit. Gently bring them through. I'm gonna wrap them around. I'm gonna wrap them around once, nice and tight. Tighten that down really good. Okay, and do the same with the other side. And bring that other guy through the center and up through the front. Straighten up that bale, make it nice and centered with your washer. Put your wires together and make sure they're nice and snug. We're gonna smooth them out. Back wires. Gonna have to secure those as well. I'm gonna check out my stone in this position. I'm gonna anchor them down. I'm gonna wrap them around the washer upwards. That's just personal preference. Tighten that down really nice and snug. I'm going to do once around for now, but I'm not going to cut the wire just yet. Make sure nobody's cockeyed. Okay, moment of truth. We're going to try to trap this stone. Actually, first, let me shape these wires. They're looking a little kinky. Just gonna pull them out and get the kinks out of them. And I use my fingers to kind of warm them up to hopefully get them to curve the way I want them to. Okay, so I'm gonna try to stabilize my stone with my thumb. Bring these wires down. I knew this would be the hard part, trying to keep this oval shape facing up and down like I want it to. Take the stone out. I'm gonna need that wire across the bottom just like that one. But this time I'm gonna take the wire and wrap it around twice. Wrap that around again, bring it across the bottom. I'm gonna cut this one. We don't need it anymore to make it look symmetrical. I'll wrap this guy to the outside and wrap it inward to make them look the same on either side here. All right, buckaroo. All right, well, this wire is going to come around this way. So I'm going to go ahead and tie it down. 
push it and pull it through. I think I'll go around twice. Since I have three wraps, I'll go twice around to have three wraps on this side too. Just wanna make sure they're nice and tight. Same with this side. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around twice. It's getting there. It probably would have been easier with a round stone, but I don't have one, so we'll see what we can do here. I want the stone to be a little higher. I'm gonna kind of raise these guys up to make room. Push the stone up. bottom one down to support it and push it up. Doesn't look too bad. Let's put the jump ring on this guy. It's pretty cool. Now we gotta do the same thing to this one. So I put that through the center. These guys I wrapped around. They're nice and tight. Bring them through again. straight up and down. Fit your stone. Black these guys in. Did I go twice around? Yeah. Twice around on this side and once around on the other side to make up for the wire that's coming across. Make sure things are pretty much straight. This one's gonna be cut off, but I don't wanna cut it off just yet. Let me get this guy coming around this way. I'm for sure not gonna use this, so I'm gonna cut this guy. Bring this one across. Leave some room and I'm gonna wrap it towards that wrap. Okay, so that guy's ready to go. These guys are gonna come down. I already know I'm gonna need some more wire up top. I'm just gonna pull it out and then I'm gonna lock them down. Make sure you don't take too much wire from the front as you're wrapping. Oh, 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 oh. wrong way, wrong, wrong way. Through there, please. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap twice around. Cut off a little excess so I can pull. Let's get this side locked in. So I go in here and lift the wires up with my round nose pliers. Push the stone up towards there. 
that direction. And just like here, I gotta bend this down and kind of give it a cradle. I do that with my round nose pliers as well. Push. Let's put a jump ring on this one. Then all I have to do is make a pair of ear wires. So let's stop there. Let's go get a snack, take a break, and I'll be back to make some ear wires and clean them up a bit. So here are the earrings. They turned out pretty cool and interesting. They definitely go with the pendant. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.